Last time, we introduced two basic desirable properties in a Lucasian problem, efficiency and individual rationality. In this video, we are going to further introduce correlational rationality and the core location. Then we are going to introduce the correlational Nash bargaining solution or Nash solution in short. One remark, you should not be confused this Nash solution in cooperative games with the Nash equilibrium in non-cooperative games. Let's record the equal allocation of a non-separable value. This allocation split the non-separable part equally. So in this particular busking game example, they split the non-separable part equally 20, 20, 20. So their final payoff is 30, 40, and 20. So of course, this allocation is in the the efficient and individual rational area, but the question is, uh, everyone is happy with this allocation? To discuss this question, let me introduce pairwise rationality in addition to efficiency and individual rationality. If A and B form a coalition, then they can generate a surplus of uh, 50. So it would be rational to allocate at least 50 jointly to A and B. So the sum of their payoff should be greater than 50. Otherwise, A and B would not agree on certain allocation. Similarly, the sum of payoff XA and XC should be greater than or equal to 10 from this uh, two person, the value of the two person coalition, and the sum of the payoff of B and C should be bigger than 70 because B and C they can generate 75 forming a two person coalition. However, in the equal allocation of non separable value. B and C jointly receives just 60. That means B and C can be better off by blocking this particular allocation to form a two-person coalition and they can be better off. For instance, they can split the payoff uh, generate 70 and split 45 and 25. So that is feasible within this uh, coalition B and C and B and C both can be better off by blocking this allocation. As we did in the previous video, let's plot the efficient allocation and the individual rational allocation and pairwise rational allocation in this three-dimensional space. Big triangle is for efficient allocations. And A and B jointly generate 50. That means there is a line which xa plus xb equals to 50. So this point, this extreme point is xa is 50, and this extreme point is xb is 50, and xa is 0. Here is xb is 0. So any point in this line satisfies uh, xa plus xb equals 50. All this area satisfies xa plus xb should be greater than 50. So it requires the sum of the xa and xb should be greater than 50. That's the pairwise rationality to a and b. Similarly, a and c, 
they jointly requires sum of the pay of xa plus xc and it's the 10 so this line is uh, xa plus xc equals 10 so it should be bigger than this line so in this efficient area this is a small part so part is for that satisfies x a plus x c bigger than 10 and similarly for b and c they can generate 70 together and what they can require is uh, this area in the efficient area so now we are ready to define core allocation an allocation is in the core of a game of a coalition game if it satisfies efficiency and coalition rationality coalition rationality include individual rationality and pairwise rationality so again let's plot the core allocations in two-dimensional ternary plot so again this triangle big triangle is efficient and this area as before this area represents the individually rational allocations on the top of that we also require pairwise rationality so xa plus xb should be bigger than 50 and xa plus xc should be bigger than 10 and xb and xc the sum of that should be bigger than 70 so the intersection of the all the coalitional rationality so we have a three individual rational requirement and we also have a three pairwise rationality requirement so the old intersection is this area so this area is what we call core locations so what we have done so far is we, we refined this large triangle imposing some restrictions individual rationality and pairwise rationality so we have this uh, smaller area which is what we call core but still there are lots of uh, allocations we can find or we can recommend them so can we single pick any reasonable allocation in this core so this is the idea from Nash. Nash proposed a cooperative solution to bargaining problems, and this coalitional Nash bargaining solution generalizes the Nash's idea in coalition game. This Nash solution maximizes the product of the distances from each player's payoff and their standalone value among the core locations so if you are familiar with the geometrics you can see this Nash solution finds the most egalitarian allocation in the core in the Boscan game we know the equal allocation of non-separable value assigns 30 40 20 that means this distance is a 30 and for player b this distance is a 40 and for c this distance is a 20 all right so this point is corresponding to equal allocation of non-separable value of course as we saw earlier this equal allocation of non-separable value 
is not in the core and this allocation is blocked by B and C because they can generate 70. So this allocation is blocked by B and C. So what is the Nash solution? And the Nash solution is the closest point from the equal allocation of non-separable value within this core. And now you understand what's Nash solution and how you can find a Nash solution. So here we have a quiz. So things are the same. Now A and C jointly produce 65 instead of 10. So there is one changes here. And again, please try to find the core location of this game. And also think of what's the coalition or national solution is in this problem.